no matter how much we try as, as foreigners, uh, the ultimate decision on how to reconstruct Congo should be left to the Congolese people. Uh, unfortunately, many of the foreign missions, uh, including the UN mission in Congo, are not giving the Congolese people the way without the opportunity to actually articulate what it is they want to do with themselves and their country. And I think that um, no matter what we impose on Congo, uh, it's never going to work, uh, regardless of how magnanimous we are, primarily because as hard as we can, we can try, we are never going to be able to, as foreigners, to understand exactly what it is the Congolese people are going through and the problems that they have. Only the Congolese people can define their problems and how they want to solve them. What we should be doing is uh, providing them with, the, with as much help as we can, but giving them the opportunity to take the lead in resolving those problems, no matter how dysfunctional we think the solutions that they come up with are, because in the end, they are the ones who are going to live with those uh, 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 solutions. Uh, another issue here that we also have to keep in mind is that the international community, especially uh, those who are involved in the extractive industries, um, they are, they are cons I don't want to be callous in, in uh, categorizing them, but the, the thing is that uh, uh, their interest is only to maintain a set, the, the type of peace that is necessary for them to continue with their activities. That might not be the peace that the Congolese people really want.